Today, at the end of the Persona Super Live 2019 concert, more information was revealed about Persona 5 The Royale. Mainly, the first official trailer and a new website. And I'm not going to waste any time, so here are the facts. Persona 5 The Royale will be releasing October 31st, 2019 in Japan. Don't let that get your hopes up though, because Atlas USA tweeted that Persona 5 The Royale will be coming out in the West in 2020. Well, it looks like it's still a long way off for us. That sucks. What is Persona 5 The Royale? Persona 5 The Royale is a updated version of Persona 5. This has been done two other times with Persona 3 FES and Persona 4 Golden. Basically, it adds a bunch of new content and stuff that wasn't in the original Persona 5, as well as refining gameplay problems and fixing things. Two new characters have been revealed for Persona 5 The Royale. The first being Kazumi Yoshizawa, a student who transferred around the same time as Joker and appears to be a gymnast and the new party member. The second being a new confidant, Taru Takuto Maruki, <laughs> who is a counselor hired by the school after the Kamoshida incident. The official website refers to a third semester, which I assume is where most of the new story content will take place, much like in Persona 4 Golden. A new area was added called, and bear with me, Kichijoji, which is said to represent Tokyo. New activities can be seen at the Penguin Sniper, which are darts and pool. There is also an aquarium for people who like that. Palaces seem to be revamped with an emphasis on a grappling hook in the trailer. It's very likely that our new party member will get a palace as well. It's not known if there's going to be more than that, but I imagine there could be one or two more palaces on top of that. At this time, it's unknown if there will be any new demons appearing in the Royale. It's also unknown if the Royale will contain any of Persona 5's DLC, or you're just going to have to buy them again, or they'll transfer over. Me personally, I didn't buy any of it, so I'm hoping all the DLC is included. New attacks with multiple party members can be seen in the trailer, which are likely team attacks from Persona 4 Golden returning here. Through some other screenshots on the website, we can see some things that aren't really explained, like this bluish purple looking demon, uh, a spooky looking red velvet room, and a skull on a pedestal. Some miscellaneous stuff here. A new menu can be seen in this screenshot, which is said to be a quality of life improvement for school life segments. PS4 Pro support is confirmed, which is great, I guess. I don't really know how much it'll improve the game, but it's there. And some prices are listed at the bottom of the webpage as well. The regular edition is listed for 8,800 yen, which roughly translates to about $78 USD. A limited edition is also listed for 13,800 yen, which is roughly about 123 USD. And that's all we know about Persona 5 The Royale. I expected it to be like a golden-ish remake, remaster kind of thing, and I'm not disappointed. I'm excited to play it, I'm just disappointed it's going to take so long to get here. Especially since some of these screenshots are really suspicious, like, hmm, I wonder why Futaba's mother is still alive in this screenshot, or hmm, I wonder if that's human Morgana in this screenshot. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to wait. It's Persona 5 all over again. I'm gonna have to avoid spoilers for another six months. Eh, a lot of fun. But hey, patience is a virtue. Alright, everyone have a great day, and goodbye. I'm just gonna add this to the end of the video. We're gonna find out what Persona 5 S is as well tomorrow, so just keep your eyes open for that. And uh, like I said, have a great day. Bye-bye.